Rushmore University is not only a pioneer in lifelong learning for executives and others seeking to embellish their skill sets for career opportunities, but now has expanded the horizons for anyone wishing to learn how to successfully start and grow their own business by offering the MBA in entrepreneurship. This unique new Rushmore program has been developed and is taught by an entrepreneur who has successfully practiced what he teaches and who coaches entrepreneurs around the world. Managers of ongoing businesses and managing directors of operating units of large companies can also benefit from this MBA program and or by taking individual courses in the program. Every year, an enormous number of new businesses are started by entrepreneurs everywhere on earth and now over the Internet. However, it is a known fact, only a very small percentage of these businesses become a commercial success. As a matter of fact, most startups fail in the first or second years of their existence. Question, why is that? Answer, primarily because most of those who start businesses either do not have the skills, experience, or resources to plan for and manage a profitable business. People entrepreneurs who start businesses have a problem themselves for which they have not been able to find a solution. They are looking for a faster, better, or cheaper product or service than is currently available. Since they cannot find a solution, they decide to create one. Fused with enthusiasm and convinced that their vision for a superior solution will have virtually unlimited appeal, they rush wildly into their new business. Typically, one or two things happen. They are either overwhelmed by short-term demand that they cannot adequately supply or meet with little immediate acceptance of their new idea and fail. Many great entrepreneurial ideas that initially failed have been resurrected by knowledgeable managers and made into later successes. As the startup begins to falter with a mounting array of expenses, unanticipated problems and few customers, the founder and their soul brothers become disillusioned. Obviously, the fundamental problem is the absence of a plan, and without a plan, every day is a crisis of one kind or another. The first and most painful lessons for entrepreneurs is that cash is king. Typically, with no accounting or budgeting skills, or the most fundamental tool, a break-even analysis, their limited capital is quickly exhausted. Entrepreneurs are long on ideas, but notoriously short on cash. The little that they have is rapidly depleted because, as in life, everything takes longer and costs more. You would think that anyone starting a business would have a plan, wouldn't you? Typical entrepreneurs are impatient, dislike controls, and have very short-term horizons. Whatever plans they may have are very fluid and kept to themselves. Eventually, with few, if any, customers, no cash, and a questionable future, the entrepreneur totally panics. This is the epitome of an age-old tenant. Nobody plans to fail. They just fail to plan. A natural part of this scenario is the Soul Brothers, those that join the founder in their quest for success. Few businesses are started by individuals. Most are begun with an entrepreneurial founder and one or more of their techie colleagues. Unfortunately, like the founder, they also lack a basic business management skill set and unknowingly participate in the confusion and mismanagement of the startup. Blame is rampant as the startup begins to falter and everyone is at fault. Without a plan, every day is a crisis. Without the fundamentals, a plan, break-even analysis, and some contingencies, what can there be? Even those who are innocent are to blame. Every entrepreneur needs an advice squad made up of those with basic business skills, the accountant, the lawyer, the planner, and the angel investor. Want to avoid this painful scenario? Who wouldn't? Doesn't it make good sense to learn the fundamentals before starting so that you can avoid the common mistakes and pitfalls of all the startup businesses that have failed? Don't you want to know how to start out with and manage a successful team? Don't you want to create a plan to win? Rushmore's MBA in entrepreneurship is the answer. Let's review the courses and the value of each. The management of innovation. How to take your idea for a business and formulate the value proposition. Executive management responsibility. How to manage your team company effectively. Managerial accounting. Why accounting is so critical to the success of any business. Marketing management. 
Learn the difference between marketing and selling. Strategic business planning. The value of developing plans and strategies. Entrepreneurship. How to take your idea and develop it into a business plan. Internet marketing. How to transition or start your business on the Internet. Electives from Rushmore. Select other Rushmore courses to embellish your leadership skills. As you can see, the MBA in Entrepreneurship from Rushmore is essential for any would-be entrepreneur and any manager looking to enhance their skills in entrepreneurship. Any questions on the program or the individual courses which can be taken independent of the total program should be directed to Dean Alan Gwynn or Program Director Professor Robert M. Donnelly. Their contact information is available on the Rushmore University site.